Well, there are two main forms of diabetes. There's type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes, and they're dramatically different. The only thing they really share is that they share a elevated glucose, uh, which then leads to a number of other derangements. Uh, with type 1 diabetes, the problem is that they have uh, a deficiency in the ability of their pancreas to make insulin. Whereas the problem with type 2 diabetes, the one that's much, much more common, the problem is less related to making insulin and it's more related to insulin action. For whatever reason, usually because of obesity, in type 2 diabetes, the insulin just doesn't work as well. So the basic problem is what we call insulin resistance. Now, point of fact, with time, most patients with type 2 diabetes also lose their ability of their pancreas to secrete insulin as well. But the basic problem of type 2 diabetes is insulin resistance, whereas the basic problem of type 1, or juvenile diabetes, is deficiency of insulin secretion. What causes a person to develop type 2 diabetes? You know, I guess if we knew that, we probably would win the Nobel Prize. No one really knows that for sure. We know, for example, that there is a very, very, very strong genetic component. Although type 2 diabetes is not a genetic disease, it's not inherited from uh, generation to generation. However, the tendency of it is. We also know that there's a strong genetic component because it runs so strongly in certain ethnic groups. For example, Native Americans are far more likely to develop type 2 diabetes than any other ethnic group. Uh, African Americans, Hispanics also are at very high risk, all much, much higher risk than Caucasians. So there is a huge genetic component related to type 2 diabetes. However, however we really don't know what causes it. We do know that there are a number of things that uncover it. Uh, for example, the strong genetic risk in your family, the ethnicity that's involved, and then obesity. I should clarify that this ethnic difference uh, in risk for type 2 diabetes, that is with Native Americans being the highest risk, African Americans and Hispanics next, all far greater than Caucasians, uh, I think that I'm often asked if this is related to lifestyle and is it because of poverty and is it because of diet. And even when you control for education, when you control for household annual income, when you control for diet, those factors still persist. So we don't fully understand why, but it's beyond. It actually is more than just uh, the social environment it actually appears to be of a genetic basis.